Welcome to Health and Math. Let's see the question of uh, estimating the population, right? the confidence interval to estimate the population. That's uh, another question here, which the wording is a little bit different than the uh, previous question. Okay, but still, the standard deviation is the key to tell us whether to use the Z or to use the T as the uh, distribution. Right, so based on the wording here, right, still we have a survey of uh, 31 colonies, in this case N is 31, and spend a monthly mean of 100, by which uh, that's a whole sentence here. So those 31 car owners spend a mean of $100. And so this continue per month on gas with a standard deviation of $20. So that standard deviation, if we read through again, right, that's 31 colonies spend on with a mean of 100 with a standard deviation of 20. That standard deviation is coming from the sample of 31 colonies, which tells us is the sample standard deviation. So, and no others uh, assumed, right? They didn't assume normal, but our sample size is large enough. So also they gave us the sample standard deviation only Therefore, I uh, will use the t-distribution to, uh, to estimate it. I still like that percent confidence. Right, therefore, we use the t-distribution to find the t-score we need a degree of freedom, which is uh, 30. And it's 99% confidence. Based on the table, the T is 2.750. Right then afterwards, we have the confidence interval for the population mean follows that. My sample mean plus minus the margin of error, in this case, follow the t-distribution, so the t-score times the sample standard deviation divided by radical of uh, size. Sample mean we get from that 100, t-score 2.750. Standard deviation 20 divided by square root of uh, 31. The multiply divided we calculate first, that's 9.88. Uh, we use 100 minus and plus this value, we get uh, the mean follows between 19.12 and 109.88. So our population mean will follow in between these two values.